So now we'll go into just some other type of instruction things. I don't have uh, really anything exactly in mind, but I'll add one of the first things that you kind of learn in every single program, which will be your, your jump and your label, okay? So this gives you the ability to loop and, and move around within a program. And we'll go through this explanation as I add these things. So I'll put label at the top. I always put, so your, uh, this would be considered like the main loop for, for our example right now. So while doing a main loop, I always use the number 10 because it's not the very beginning of the program, but it's at the top of the program. And I'll, and I'll give you an example of that here in a second. Maybe, and I will add here in a few minutes, I'll add some more instructions up here, right? And that's why this is a label 10, because there are gonna be some things above the label 10, but there won't be many things above the label 10. I'll just put a couple things above the label 10. Uh, to Maybe we have to do some things before the program runs. Maybe we need to open the gripper. We need to make sure the gripper's open. So you'll always like do things like that to make sure the gripper's open because you don't want to ever go down to a position your gripper's closed and you just smash into whatever you're you're gonna do. So we, we call these like a knit type of things. And knit means to initiate or to get into a good starting position. So we have a label there. I'll do uh, instruction. I'll go back to the jump label thing again. And then we'll do this one as a jump label. Okay, we're also gonna name this one 10. At this point in time, what we've created here is an infinite loop. Meaning, as soon as the code runs and it passes this label 10, it will always run in a loop right here. And what do I mean by that? Oh, we'll just do it through the brief, brief example. So I'm in step mode, so that way you guys can watch this program run. I'll say shift forward. It says, do you wanna start from this line? I actually don't. I'm gonna let it take me to back to the top of the program. So I'll say no. It brought me to the top of the program. And I'm gonna slowly forward through this program in step mode so you can walk, so you can see the, uh, the, the code execute. So here, it's another robot's gonna to move to that position. Robot's gonna to move to the next position. Also, one thing that I left out in the other video is we didn't do a uh, away from position, which in a ra away from is generally a repeat of your approach position. So whenever you go down to something, you need to go back up to something at the exact same position. Uh, so in that instance, like I could, I could just like copy this, like I can actually do like this uh, point. So notice how I just created another point where I'm currently at in space. Now watch this. I'm gonna change this to a one. So I'm gonna change this three right here to a one. Boom. Now, these two positions here are exactly identical with one another. Position one and position one are the same position. I'm gonna change this back to linear too, because it should be linear. Does that make sense? So instead of me creating a, a third position that is the same values as, the, as this other position, I just said make them the same position. So that way if I modify this, like if I do a direct entry right now, it'll modify both the positions. Or it'll modify both of these. The reason why it's set up like this is because you actually probably want it set up like this way, because this speed is when you're going to that position. 